So that's a big one. Oh yeah, this one. Man, he... Yeah, yo, that's very alive, guys. Very alive. I'm sorry. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Foods. This is a series where I'm going to be exploring $20 dishes. That's premium enough, but not too expensive. Boom. I'm actually really excited because in this episode, I'm going to be exploring two different bowls of $20 pho. Pho is usually something that you can get for anywhere from eight to $10 in America. Maybe if it's a nice bowl, it's 13 or 14, but it's never 20. So guys, is $20 pho worth it? Can it be worth it? I'm gonna let you know in this episode. Let's go. Hi, welcome to my Jitokan uh, restaurant. Best seafood. Thank you. Woo! Okay, so I'm here at Dip Tan Tan, which is a Vietnamese seafood restaurant in Rosemead, California. And if you guys have ever seen our channel, you know that we actually eat a lot of Viet food. This menu is huge. I mean, they have crab, they have prawns, they have fish. They have everything ranging from an $8 vermicelli pork bowl to a $100 tomahawk steak. So today I saw this on the menu. I had to get the $21.99 lobster pho and then also the 1999 Wagyu beef pho. To be honest, that price for lobster is not that bad, even though that's a lot for a bowl of pho. So I'm gonna taste the lobster, see if it's fresh, see if it's good, and see if it's worth it. 20 bucks. All right, so this is kind of crazy because just for 20 bucks, you get to pick the lobster fresh. So if you guys don't know, yo, the lobster is fresh here. It's actually flown in from Maine. Maine lobster is the best. So basically, I'm gonna go tell Ben right over here uh, which lobster I want. He's gonna put it in the pho. So that's a big one. Oh yeah, this one. Man, he... Yeah, yo, they're very alive, guys. Very alive. Ooh, this one's nice. Oh, I'm sorry, my man, but I choose you. Wow, 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 wow. I'm in Rosemead, California. I am not in Vegas. I am in the 626. And this bowl of pho came in only at $21.99. Man, I'm gonna be straight up, guys. Already this lobster is pretty big for $20 because if you've ever been to any other seafood restaurant, you would know that they could probably serve this lobster by itself for like $30 to $35. I'm pretty in a pho and the first thing you gotta do with pho is taste the broth. So I'm gonna taste this broth real quick. Pretty light broth, it's nice. I do taste some of that lobster. It's not the deepest beef broth that I've had, but it definitely has that lobster flavor. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, one thing, and no disrespect because I love this sauce, but I just don't use it in my pho. Let me eat it with the noodles first. So far, the pho broth is very tasty. Let me get at, let me get at this lobster real quick. Wow. Wow. Look at this fatty piece of tail. That's why Maine lobsters are actually considered the best because they come from really, really cold waters and the cold water one allows it to be sweeter because less, less of the salt water is absorbed into the meat because of the cold water and also because it's cold, they're gonna be extra meaty and chunky to stay warm. I'm not actually usually a big fan of the claw meat but they say that for Maine lobsters, the claw meat is the best meat. It's juicy. Did you know back in the day, they used to consider lobsters like garbage food. Like in the UK, they would give lobsters to the prisoners because lobsters were such like a weird thing back then. So they didn't even like, nobody even wanted to eat them. And then I think just like a hundred years later, man, everybody's paying big money for these. Woo! I got it. Guys, when you get the lobster here, it comes with a green sauce. This is a special sauce. It has jalapeno, lemon, and some sugar. That sounds delicious. Let's dip this baby in there. Mm. See that? All right, everybody, we just tried the lobster pho. I'm gonna give you guys my verdict later after I try this one too. Right here, we got the Wagyu beef pho. Now, obviously, Wagyu beef, that's not a traditional 
beef that you find in Vietnam, the Waigu, that's a Japanese style of beef. This is a certified Australian Waigu beef. Man, we got the raw beef right here. We actually have our separate soup that you're supposed to cook it in because this soup is actually not hot enough to cook the beef. So he keeps this boiling right here. And you got Sterno, that purple gel fuel right there that you light it up. I mean, not gonna lie, there's, there's a lot of gel there. It's, it's gonna be burning for a minute. Let me just try this broth real quick. This broth does look a little bit darker than the lobster broth. Let me see if there's a difference. Yo, that is super beefy. And I would say that is a true, rich, deep beef flavor. It's got a little bit more fat on the top, as you can tell. Mm. I could just sip this broth all day. Man. I feel like if you're sick, you're gonna need this. If you're heartbroken, you're gonna need this. If you're hungover, you're gonna need this. All right, let's check out this Waigu. I just, I just like more onions. Let me just cook the onions real quick. Put the cilantro in there. Silo. All right. Knowing that I got a pot like this, I'm gonna do it each piece by itself. And I'm gonna eat this without hoisin and sriracha sauce first. It's like shabu shabu right here. You know the word shabu shabu comes from shabu, 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 shabu. I don't wanna cook it too much. I'm gonna keep it a little bit rare just so you can see a little bit of red. Yeah. If you dump all the beef in there, some of it's gonna be overcooked. So you almost dip it each piece by itself so that you can cook each piece perfectly. Cause this is why good beef. You don't want to mess this up. It's gonna be tough to eat. I'm gonna see if I can get the spoonful in because I stack the noodles on top of the meat. Oh, oh my. my God. Woo! My Wagyu senses are going off. That meat is so buttery. It's so marbly. I mean, if you look at it, just look at this beef. I've paid like $15 for a bowl of pho before that said it was filet mignon. But I think because I'm used to eating hot pot and shabu shabu, which has waigu beef in it, I'm really digging this, man. I'm feeling this a lot. Let me tell you this right now. My man Ben right here, he is actually a wholesaler for a lot of meat and seafood. So that's why he's able to bring the price down because he sells a lot of the seafood and meat to other businesses. He got the plug. So once you have the plug, you are able to sell it for a little bit lower of a price, but keeping the same quality. All right, guys, yo, it's so good. I gotta just, I gotta let our intern know. Kim, Kim, I think you gotta try this. Kim is from the Bay Area. Hi. And you eat a lot of pho. I do eat a lot of pho. Okay. Good broth. That's it's legit. Super legit. That's a legit reaction too. That you was. Like, mm. <laughs> right, yeah, we need it. That is a thick cut. That's a thick cut of Wagyu though, I will say. When you can't talk for 10 seconds, something's up. You're just... That's really, really good. <laughs> I know. You want this? Wow. Yeah, eat it. Wow. <laughs> I'll give you all the special Woo! Okay, just as a bonus, guys, before I tell you my verdict, they are bringing through some scallops. As you guys know, $20 for a bowl of pho is on the higher end, but it's not too much when you can't afford it. And you probably can't afford it every day. You probably can't afford it every meal. I, would, I wouldn't buy it every meal, but just to try it out and to know that it's out there, because you know, as much as we love Asian food, we gotta try the higher levels of Asian food. The food here is good. So actually, before I tell you whether I think it's worth it or not, I'm gonna go hit the streets and ask some people if they would try $20 pho. Let's go. You guys have had pho before, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much does your pho usually cost that you eat? Like seven, eight dollars probably. Yeah. yeah. What, eight, eight, nine bucks? Okay. Um, like eight bucks. So I'm not Asian, but I do eat a lot of pho. Okay. I am a pho expert. Oh, yes. okay. And how much is the usual bowl of pho that you buy? About eight dollars, I would say. Well, what would you say if I told you that just down the street there's $20 pho? It's a little yeah. much. I would have to. <laughs> 
be yeah. something amazing about it. $20? Yeah. Is it worth it though? I'm too broke for that. What would your Tastes parents crazy. say about $20 <laughs> foot? What would their reaction be? <laughs> they won't Man. love you though. My mom would get the bell, she'd be like, me hold Now what would that $20 foot have to have for you to feel comfortable paying for that? Like those giant bone marrow things, I want to say. Yeah, so something you wouldn't really find somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere else. Places, really. Yeah. Honestly, I feel more. I'm more on the seafood aspect. So I'm thinking if you bring in like some shrimp, some crab, some lobster, you feel me? Okay. And then the what? soup gotta glow in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Oh. The soup gotta glow in the dark. Okay. Turn off the lights. Be like, I will pay twenty dollars for glow in the dark. Fuck. But what if I just told you it had really good beef in it? Then would you still try it? Man, I just go to like Chick Fil A. Well, if the first thing comes to mind is truffle. What about like a lobster pho? Have you heard of that? Nope. Nope. Nice. I am a pho expert. All right, what about if I told you it was a big whole <laughs> lobster in it for $20? Could you imagine paying that much? Yeah, I probably kind of really like lobster. Fresh lobster? Not no little chunks and no little pebbles? Nope. A real lobster cut up in half. Ooh, man, I would have to check them out. I might have to see what's up. And Next they, time I'm in the mood for pho. I would not pay $20 for pho, but now that I know there are lobster pho for $20, where I would have to pay $50 elsewhere, <laughs> I would consider that. I now know there are different levels of pho. Woo! Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video about $20 pho. Here is my final verdict. Lobster pho. It was fresh lobster. I saw him pick it out of the tank. He cooked it fresh. It was actually a decent amount of meat. That claw meat was amazing. That green sauce was crazy. Probably one of the better sauces I've actually had in my life. The pho broth was pretty light and I'm not the biggest fan of lobster, but seeing as that it would be so hard to find any other freshly cooked lobster for that price, like basically that's worth it. I would just say get it. Obviously, you probably couldn't eat it every meal and you wouldn't eat, eat it for lunch every day, but I mean, you're talking about a big lobster tail and the claw and the sauce, all just for like 21, 22 dollars after tax. And when it comes to the Wagyu beef pho, I would say, you know, that tasted more like traditional pho because the lobster pho, it tasted like something completely different. It was like kind of like a seafood pho. But then the Wagyu beef, it actually just tasted like an elevated version of regular pho. So the broth was really beefy, but then the, the marbled Wagyu meat was super tender. It was like, you know, the same meat that you would get at a nice shabu shabu dinner or a nice hot pot dinner. And I thought that overall that was worth it because the Wagyu actually fits better with the regular pho. You're just elevating the beef side of it. And a takeaway that I had from talking to people on the street about whether they would try a $20 bowl of pho is that they were shocked to hear that there was such a thing. But when I explained what went into it, they were actually really open to trying it. So I think that goes to show you that a lot of people, when they look at pho, they just don't imagine that there's that much in it. Because to be honest, when you get your average bowl of pho, there's not a whole lot of meat. Then when you tell them and you talk about the range of what pho can actually have, it makes a lot of sense. It's just like they start to see it like it's ramen. It's just that we're more used to hearing about fancy ramen than we are about hearing fancy pho. And that's actually kind of one of the missions of our channel that I'd like to show is that there's always gonna be the cheap option when it comes to Asian food, but you don't only have to stick with that. I'm glad the cheap option will never go away, and I hope it doesn't. But I also wanna see the $20 pho. I wanna see the $50 pho. You know, I probably won't get that very often, but I'd like to see what it's like. So guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other foods that are $20 in the area that you want me to try because $20, like I said, you know, it'll probably get you a premium version, but it's not too expensive to break the bank. All right, everybody, like, subscribe, follow me on social media. Until next time, I'm Andrew from the Fung Bros. I'm out, peace.